how to create a rental website on Wix. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be talking about our tutorial on how to create a rental website on Wix. If you're looking to start a rental business or showcase on your rental properties, Wix provide an intuitive and user-friendly platform to create your own professional website. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up your rental website on Wix. We'll cover everything from choosing the right template to customizing it to fit your brand and adding essential features for your rental business. Wix offers a wide range of stunning templates specifically designed for rental business, allowing you to create and showcase your properties in an appealing and informative way. You can easily customize the colors, font, layouts, to match your brand identity and create a unique look for your website. So let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to have to do is of course go to wix.com and then create your account. After creating your account, you're of course going to have to log in. After doing all of those stuff, you will now be able to access what we are seeing right now. Wherein this is where we will be able to uh, manage different sites that we have done before and will be doing in the future as you can see. These are the different websites that we have done before and you will be able to create your websites in this section you can also delete websites that you have done before in this section for example this one over here we have a testing website over here you can simply click on site action which is the three dots and you'll have these options over here we have edit site rename site get feedback get live site rebuild on editor x which is a different editor of wix change owner add collaborator Duplicate site, move to folder, or move to trash. We could click on move to trash. Click on move to trash, and it will remain in the trash for 90 days unless you delete it yourself once again in the trash section over here. Now, to create a website or specifically a rental website, we're going to have to click on create new site over here on the top right. By clicking this, we would be redirected to this page where we are being redirected once again and as you can see here we will be choosing which platform we would like to use to create our website as you can see we have wix and editor x that their x is what we saw earlier in the options over here wherein you will be able to convert whatever wix website you have created with wix into editor x and then vice versa but for now we're going to stick with the wix platform click on wix so that we will be able to use the wix uh, editor to create our website instead instead of editor x but this it is completely up to you but for me i'm going to go with that the wix platform now over here we're simply going to search rental and as you can see here we have rental shop rental library real estate rental agency vacation rental party equipment rental shop and rv rentals over here now for example we're going to create a rental shop we're going to click on the rental shop Click on next. And over here, we're going to have to enter our store name. Now you could skip all of this process and start editing and creating your website. But I suggest that you finish and do all of these questions right away so that Wix would be able to assist you and help you create the website that you like and help you create the website that you are aiming for. Now for our store name, you could simply enter any type of name that you have or you want depends on your brand or your logo but for us we're going to go with testing for now because our website is indeed in the testing phase so click on next once again and over here this is where you will be able to see the different applications or different features to be added to your website as you can see the default addition is the online store because we are going to be a rental store which is technically a store and we are going to be online so online store you also have your chats over here so that your users can chat with you. Bookings for rental and forms over here. You could also enable this by clicking on it. And you could see and know that it is enabled by simply looking at the check bar over here or the check box. And you could also add like events, blogs, portfolio. You could have a portfolio. Pricing plans, online program, music, video, Instagram feed, forum, groups, file share, table reservation, bandwidth, food orders, and restaurant menus over here. I suggest that you select all the options that are applicable to the type of rental shop you have. I enable the forms and events and portfolio over here for the event so that we could create events that they could rent. For example, an event for a birthday 
we could post our different photos over there and then they can apply and buy for that specific event you could also have portfolio over here to showcase our different locations our different places that we are offering to rent or like different items that we are trying to give and ask people to rent you could also see the pricing plans over here wherein you could have subscription and memberships depending on how you would like to run your website now click on next after selecting the specific different features you would like to add to your website and now over here you could go back to your dashboard if you would like you could click on go back to dashboard or we could start designing by simply clicking on begin with a template now you could also let wix create your design for you by simply clicking on get a custom built site but for us we're going to go and build our own website by clicking on begin with a template so we're simply going to click this and then we would be redirected to this page over here and as you can see here it will automatically show us different templates for the specific shop that we have entered earlier which is a rental shop and as you can see these are the different templates available for us that are specifically for rentals you could also use different templates by simply searching it over here you're not going to be stuck with the rental templates over here you could go with other types of templates over here and simply edit them to become a rental shop but for us simply right now we're going to stick with the templates available for us to use right now so for example i would like to have a uh, event planning company or i could go with a vacation rental company we're simply going to click on edit but if you would like to view the specific template for the meantime without having to go and edit it you can simply click on view and you will be able to see a demo view or a sample view of how this website would look like as you can see here right now you can also view it on the mobile phone as you can see this is what it would look like on a mobile phone now going back here what you're going to do now is you're going to click on edit and then you're going to have to wait for it to open once again as you can see we will be redirected to the editing page or the editing section of wix wherein we will be able to edit our website and create and edit the templates that we have selected earlier so we're going to have to give it some time sometimes it takes a while depending on your internet speed and as you can see here it's adding different things like adding wix stores setting up our app and it's adding finishing touches to our website so we're simply going to give it some time once again and as you can see here on the background we are we have our template over here we're going to show you how you could edit every single element and explore the different things that we are seeing on our screen right now and give you a quick tour or an entire tour of how you could use the wix website editor and as you can see here we will now be able to start editing our website over here as you can see here on our left side it will show you like the different options that we have like add elements add section page and menu site design add up my business and media and content manager over here so that you will be able to easily navigate through the different options or the different features available in the wix website editor now over here on the left side you can add elements by simply clicking on this and you will be able to add all of this element that you are seeing right now you have text images buttons strip decorative box gallery menu and anchor contact and forms and all of these options over here now for example i would like to add a text it will also have another categories over here for the strip there will be more categories like classic featured about services and all of those stuff and over here on the right side you will see like a preview of what each option would look like this is for the featured this is for the classic over here on the top and you can also do that on every single elements that you have over here for example social as you can see you will be able to see a social section over here like a category and then a preview in this section on the right side and this is very helpful so that you would be able to see right away what you would be adding on your website and you could also add sections by clicking this button you could add a welcome section about section team contact promotion service subscribe testimonials and all of this option like store booking events all the different applications that we have added earlier the different features that we chose while setting this up would appear in this section as well and you can simply add whatever you would like to add to your website customize it we're going to teach you how you could customize it later on but this is how you could add different things to your website you can also click on page and menu wherein you could manage the different pages that you have right now the site menu is home rio contact shop book online and portfolio over here you could check out your cart and thank you store pages booking pages and portfolio pages over here separately you could also click on site design you could choose and edit your 
color and text theme over here you could change your background over here right now it is this very amazing or very aesthetic background wherein we have the mountains and the sky you could change it in this section over here by clicking on customize over here and you also have your apps my business media in the media you can upload your different media over here like videos or image so that you could access it very easily later on when you add different elements into your website that requires images for example an image gallery instead of uploading them one by one once again when you add them to your website you can simply add them to your media so you could reuse and reuse the image that you have added before you also have your content manager over here now to be able to edit specific sections or specific elements on your website as you can see when i hover on the different elements it will highlight with a box as you can see here for this section which is the, the welcome to rio we can simply click on quick edit and then we will be able to edit the specific section we could edit our text by double clicking on the welcome to rio or the be my guest over here you could change the different settings like the font themes and all of this paragraph formatting over here you could edit the entire section by doing what i did earlier where i click on the section and then click on quick edit and as you can see here on the right side you will be able to edit specific sections as well you could also edit and change the layout if you would like by clicking on the layout section over here and right now there is no layout for the specific section but on other sections over here on the add section there will be layout options for you to choose and over here for example we have the section with the images over here you could click on quick edit and you would be able to see the same information from earlier so we're going to wait for it to appear as you can see here you can see this is the image of the first one and the second image over here you could change them in this section you can also change the paragraph that appears over here and like the title section over here and you can also rearrange the different section that we have by clicking this arrow over here you could move it up or move it down by simply clicking on the arrows over here you can also do quick edits one again once again and explore section layout and also click on more stuff wherein you will be able to cut copy duplicate and delete and all of this other options that we are seeing right now you can also zoom out if you would like you could zoom out to 50 if you are trying or if you are having a hard time you can zoom it from 50 to 100 and as you can see this is our website right now you can simply edit and add different things that you would like that would help you build your rental website and the content depends on you you can simply follow what I did to edit specific contents, add specific elements, add specific sections, and edit them however you would like. You can also view them on your mobile point of view over here by clicking this option. You would be able to see what it would look like as a mobile view, as you can see here. Now after editing, after creating your website, you can simply click on publish over here on top right, wherein you will be able to publish it and make the website go live, and as you can see, our website is now published and live and we can view our site by clicking on view site over here and by clicking this we would be redirected to our website over here as you can see this is what our website would look like right now this is what your customers or what your different users would see right away and you have your last shots over here your different sections over here like book online portfolio and like different elements that you are seeing right now and you can simply edit and add whatever you would like to have on your website depending on your brand and how your rental website would work and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching